Welcome along boys and girls, it's Sunday the 15th of November 2020. Well, what an exciting day we had yesterday. <clears throat> Up nice and early we were, yep, 6 o'clock, we were at Asda's in Haven. We spent two hours in there, we then uh, done all the shopping and came back to Tesco, where the girls had a look round, they were in there for 40 minutes, just left me in the car. I think they'd forgotten about me, didn't you? No. You did. You did forget about me. I didn't. I changed everything in Tesco's. Right. It's not where... Come over here. It's not what? As you walk in now... Yeah? You haven't got all the toys and the books and everything. Well, you've got the books, but you've got no the toys. And as soon as you walk in, you've got a massive area for clothes. Wow. Everybody needs clothes. And you, I couldn't find where everything else was. Yeah, see? Just couldn't find out where everything was. Found my strawberries though. Oh, Netherlands strawberries. Absolutely gorgeous. I ate a whole punnet as I came out of Asda's and I've demolished yet another punnet this afternoon. Yeah. <clears throat> we bought, excuse me, we bought more fruit and veg than we've ever bought in our life. We've got bananas, three types of grapes, two lots of oranges, uh, we've got plums, we've got pears, peppers, peppers onions. onions Leek, mixed veg, or you name it, we, we went a bit mad. Got a turkey, uh, not a turkey, a chicken later on, which will be very nice. We're going to have a nice roast chicken dinner. Got to have a Sunday dinner. We haven't had one for ages. Um, last night we had liver, mash and peas. Whoa, was that nice. Only a cheap, a cheap microwave meal it was, but it went down a treat, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, see? She's listening. She's going to come over in a minute and tell you about the competition that's going on. What? Yeah, you're going to tell them all about how they can win a hoodie. Can you remember the competition question? No. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Right, you come over here then, so they can see you. Competition. Where was Gary born? That's the art. That, um, um, that's the question. And if you email... G Davidson five four one at hotmail dot co dot uk. Yeah. The answer. You'll be in a chance to win a hoodie. That's what hospital. What did I say? You said where was I born? Oh, uh, what hospital was he born in? And where was I born? In Dartford in Kent. Exactly. So there you go. So well, I know I'd get it wrong. I'm still waiting for the uh, torches to turn up, so I can't send any of uh, them out yet. They will turn up. Believe me. They will. Now, Lucy, these chickens, where do you get them from? Are they all just donated to you or what? And do you get lots of eggs? That's the thing we want to know. Obviously, you don't eat the chickens because you've uh, adopted them and given them new homes. We like eggs. We like eggs, though. Boiled egg on toast for breakfast. Ooh. Then a nice bowl of porridge. Can't beat a bowl of porridge, especially this time of year. I mean, it's dark outside. I'll be having porridge in a while. And I've got a nice tub of mixed berries. Blueberries, raspberries, cherries, grapes, and strawberries. They'll all go into the porridge with a little bit of honey. Honey is better than normal sugar. Um, my blood yesterday were 8.1. And they were 5.8 this morning, so I can't, I can't be complaining. No, I've got to see the vascular surgeon on Tuesday and remember my P's and Q's. Yeah, I don't think so. It's going to be the case of, uh, I don't want to see you anymore, thank you very much. Thank you for doing the operation, but now I'm all right. My leg is fine and I'm fine. I think I know if I'm feeling a bit under the weather and I need to present myself to A&E. Hmm. Well... Next week coming up, if you're a fan of darts, wow, £550,000 dart prize money for the winner on the PDC Tour. Well, I'll be watching that. It's on five nights a week, uh, starting on Tuesday. So if you like your darts, make sure you watch that. England are meant to be playing Denmark on Wednesday night. Still don't know if that's going to go ahead because of the Minx coronavirus. Now, Joey and Amelia are probably thinking, what's the minx coronavirus? Well, look it up. 
Look it up on the interweb and it will tell you all about the minxes. Yeah, been a massive cull of minxes in Denmark because of the virus. <clears throat> uh, speaking of the virus, do you think it's going to go away? Do you think we'll come out of lockdown on the 2nd of December? They're pretty sure that we are. I reckon it's going to go on till way past March. I really do. We need to stop it in the bud. And that's the only way we're going to do it, isn't it? It is. Because people are not listening. They're still going out and they're still having parties. So up to them, really. They'll either stop it and have a nice Christmas or they carry on going out and doing things they shouldn't be. Well, we're going to have a nice Christmas, anyway. We're going to have a nice Christmas, yeah. Told you. The uh, carers shop up the road have uh, organised Christmas dinner for us. Going to be delivered on a plate. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Be very nice. Just like my Christmas dinner I'm going to have this afternoon. It's going to have all the trimmings, roast parsnips. No sausages though, not pigs in blanket things. So I'm not keen on them. They seem to go a bit burnt when Tracy does them. I think she forgets they're in the oven. We've got stuff in, haven't we? Got roast potatoes, loads of veg, so we'll be alright anyway. Right, well you have a fantastic day and Gary and Tracy will speak to you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.